Shabbat Shalom Saints and this is just a very quick message. My name is Messenger Paula. Look, I, I think the best way to do this is I'll just play the recording that I left for Sister Polly and Brother David on Wednesday. Listen to this. Good morning, Saints. Uh, just quickly, uh, last night I was sleeping and just when I was like in between sleep, like I'm starting to wake up, but I'm, I'm still asleep. I mean, it was in the middle of the night, so I shouldn't have woke up. But, you know, it was just kind of that really thin moment of your sleep. And I heard uh, this week it begins in my dream. But since I was kind of waking up, I heard it and retained it, you know. So I don't want to post this. I don't want to go public with this because I don't know what that means. I, I, you know, because I was in and out of sleep. I, who knows? So, but I did want to let you guys know. And if so, if something happens this week, then it, it, it's the beginning of something. Maybe it's personal. I, I don't know. Maybe it was nothing at all. But I'm just sharing it with you guys. All right. Love you. Have a good day. Okay. So that's what happened. I got this message on December 26th and it said this week it begins now I didn't come forward because you know like I explained in the recording but now the Holy Spirit is um, pushing me to say something because if they gave me a message and I didn't give it to you and then something does happen then I'm afraid of, of the judgment on me you know so I have to come forward and, and, and give you this message. This is, this is real. This is not a drill. This is serious. As I said in the recording, I didn't know what it meant. So, you know, if nothing happened this week, then I wouldn't be here talking to you right now. But um, as you know, a few things have happened. And let me show you. Here's a video from a channel called Marfugo News. He, he pointed out some really important things that have happened over the past three days that really pushed me to, to give you this message. So I'll just play the video. It's only five minutes. Okay guys, I don't know what is going on, but the entire sky is green and it is flashing. Something bad is going on. What's up you guys, it's Adam AK Marf, and this is Marfugal News. So I'm coming to you with kind of an urgent message. Um, as many of you know, I just did a two hour live show on my other backup channel, and people started flooding the chat room, which we had over 2,000 viewers, people saying that 911 was down. Now it's not just Washington. I'm gonna put an article up here that says it's Western Washington that's down, but people are saying that ATMs and local business phones and 911 are not working in several states. Now when you combine this with the earlier incident in New York where an entire power station not only blew up but would not stop blowing up. It lit the entire sky blue which I'm going to show you now. What's going on? I have no idea. It looks like a tornado or something is coming. And my power just flickered. That's a plant. The power plant is going out. <laughs> Looks like the end of the world or something. Now, for 45 minutes, according to some of the witnesses. Now, being as we're three days away from the new year, on a Friday, uh, we've had numerous Dow downs and Dow ups and some say that we had a dead cat bounce recently People are worried that there's going to be a financial reset It is Friday just as many have predicted that we won't be able to access our money our ATMs and Emergency services will go down which was actually predicted by some of our favorite conspiracy theorists 
So what I recommend is you get the number for your local police station and your local fire department just in case something does happen. What I'm all about is telling my group and my family to prepare even if it's not necessary because if nothing happens, you've got some extra supplies. But if something absolutely horrific happens, you're set up. Now, like I said, we had a tornado last week in Seattle. So anything is possible. The well, your house can system. be your bunker. That's yeah, what I mean. Yeah, it's gonna, when the financial system stops, which it has to, for us to reset and completely forgive all debt of, the, of uh, you know, the trillions of dollars and all of the derivatives and everything has to go away. For us to bring up the new financial system, which is a QFS, quantum financial system, it is going to be completely different and it's going to be completely great, but there's going to be a period of time, like they're saying between three to 10 days, where everything's going to be closed, including the banks, the, um, you won't be able to get gas, you won't be able to use your credit or your debit cards or anything during this time. So you have to have enough cash on your hand. You have, a, have to have a full take of gas. You have to have food and water to survive for that two weeks. Because nothing is going to be open. Nothing. You won't be able to get gas. You won't be able to go on the Internet. Everything will. And the power could go down during this time, too. We don't know that. But what I want you guys to realize is that it seems that it has started and this shouldn't be news because I've been talking about it for since Troll Hunters, since my first playlist on this channel called the 1111 Machezo Deck uh, Ephod Gems or I forget what it's called, whatever it is. We understood back then that things were going to be jumping off in 2019. We knew since then that um, Satan's army is going to be appearing. We've known this information, but just to have that voice so clear saying it starts this week and then having all these events happen like just right after is too much for me. So now you can see why I'm really concerned. Um, it looks like these are warning signs. It looks like these are symptoms and we need to be paying attention to it. I have no idea how things are gonna unfold or what it's gonna look like, but pay attention. These seem to be warning signs that something has started this week. And whatever this thing is, it, 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 once it's started, it's not gonna stop. So it's time to stop playing around don't be playing around with your salvation. Don't be playing around with, you know, this whole thing. This is real. It's time to get serious because it has started. Whatever it is, it has started. So another important message just that we've talked about before in the past, but I just think it's important to remind you guys about psychological trauma. So if something does happen or when, it's not even an if, it's just when... The thing that concerns me most about these events, it's not the event itself, because the event itself, once it passes, we have biologically and, and um, psychologically, we have processes in place that will allow us to go on and heal from whatever event. If it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger, right? So that is not my concern. My concern is the, 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 the emotional and psychological trauma and shock that happens. The shock that happens is what you could possibly have to be dealing with for your whole life if you don't recognize it and deal with it immediately. Also, if you go into shock, um, I'm talking about emotional or psychological shock with the event or whatever events that happens, it paralyzes your ability to uh, correctly um, act. Do you know what I mean? You have to be here. You have to be aware in your body. You have to be, you have to be here. Hey, hey, hey. You can't allow yourself to go off into, uh, you know, some kind of psychological trauma. That's what concerns me. 
Um, not not for you guys. I'm I'm talking about for myself because I know that the shock that I that happened to me in 9/11 and um, some of these other events that have happened, and I just don't want to have that happen anymore. So, um, you know, this is what emotional and psychological trauma is: one-time events. Da da da. So symptoms of psych psychological trauma, you got the shock, confusion, anger, anxiety, guilt, withdrawing from others, being sad and feeling disconnected or numb. None of these are of the Holy Spirit. Do you see where I, what I'm getting to? So when these, when these things happen, we need to be staying in the Holy Spirit and not allowing ourselves to go into all of this because all of this is of Satan. All of this is flesh right here. Right. And like I said, I'm talking for myself as much as you guys. Now, you know, if you go into shock because these are the physical symptoms, insomnia, fatigue, being startled, dif difficulty concentrating, race, racing heartbeat, um, agitation, aches and pains, muscle tension. The other thing, the other thing that concerns me about the shock is that, like I said, you, you keep it for all of your life. So you can be triggered for the rest of your life. If you have a smell that reminds you of the event, if you have a, you see something or hear something that reminds you of the event, you go back to that moment when the, the, the trauma happened and you relive it again like it's happening now. But it happened to you 20 years ago, but you're constantly reliving this fear or panic or whatever you experience as if it's happening to you at that moment because you never dealt with that. You see what I mean? And that's how you can be manipulated. So we need to make sure that whatever um, has started this week, that when, when it really hits, we need to stay calm. We need to stay in the Holy Spirit. We need to be um, completely dressed in the armor of, of the Most High Father, as we have been practicing all these months, as we have been practicing for the past two years. You can go into prayer uh, right here. Don't isolate. Go into prayer. Uh, go to commune with your brothers and sisters, and, and we can help each other to get through the trauma, right? But the most important thing, make sure you breathe. Try to stay calm. Stay grounded. Don't try to hold in your feelings. You know what I mean? You don't want to panic. But if you feel sad, if you feel whatever, let it out. Don't hold it in. Because if you hold it in, what is going to come out later? And when it comes out later, it's going to be 10 times, 100 times worse than it will, would have been if you had just let it out when it when you felt it. Do you see what I mean? Um, you know, guys, all of this is Holy Spirit. So if you got the Holy Spirit, you, you are already doing this stuff. That's what we've been talking about in all these videos about how to get on the ark. Um, and again, if you're not able to deal with it, then you, you want to make sure that you talk to a brother or sister in Christ and don't keep it in your head. We've talked about that as well in this playlist. So that's it. This is not, I'm not trying to scare anybody. God knows I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just being obedient. Um, I have been given that message that, that this week it begins. Okay. And, and since I've gotten the message, we've had all these weird things that have gone on. So that's leading me to believe that, you know, maybe, maybe that was, you know, maybe it's true. So prepare for this as if it is the real event, right? Um, could it be the, uh, the economy is going to collapse? We've been waiting for it. So I wouldn't be surprised. It's going to happen. Whether it's, well, I don't know when, but if this is it, this is it, you know. Prepare yourself spiritually. Prepare your house. Prepare your family. Just just be prepared for anything, anytime. Um, especially uh, mentally and spiritually. Okay, saints? Um, the Most High Father, He is going to protect us and take care of us. And that's why we've been memorizing Psalms 91. If you... Uh, I have been memorizing it here. I'll put in the description box a link to a song, a sister from Catherine, Sister Catherine from uh, Facebook. She gave me this link and I love it. I've been listening to it and memorizing Psalms 91 through song. Make sure you memorize Psalm 91 because, you know, that is going to be what might keep you from going into shock. Um, 
being able to recite those Bible verses, not having to look it up on the internet or having to have the Bible, just having the Word of God in you could be the difference between flipping out <clears throat> and, and being calm. And being calm is a blessing because then you will be able to take care of your friends and your family. You won't be flipping out. Okay, saints? So again, this is... This is uh, serious business. Let's continue preparing our spiritual house. We have three and a half years um, to, to prepare. We are going to be the end time ministers and, and preachers uh, in the harvest. We have a ministry for 11 years and we're getting ready. We're getting ourselves ready right now to be able to, to go into the harvest and do this work. Okay. So regardless of what happens this week, regardless of what happens in 2019, it doesn't, it matters, but it really doesn't matter. It doesn't change what we have to do. We have three and a half years to prepare ourselves to, to become the, the 11-11-1532 true spiritual Israel. That's going to happen 2025. The, the, the Prince of Persia is coming 2022. And every day that passes, I get more and more confirmation about that. Next week, I'm going to be doing the timeline for Matthew 24, and it just confirms it again, 2022. And before he comes, we're going to have all of these events taking place, announcing that he's coming. So this is a warning. I've been warned. I'm sharing it with you. I pray that it blesses you. I pray that you are not afraid. And if you are afraid, immediately go into prayer. Immediately go into the word. Be memorizing the word of, of Yah. Keep it in your heart. And we will be protected, saints. We will be protected. I love you very, very much. Peace and blessings to you. Shalom.